We've got a debutante grand finalist in this, the fourth tournament for Master League's offering, offering for Company of Heroes 3. It's Hungary's Ferragy, and he's very hungry for success. And oh, the bittersweet irony for Orange Pest. Orange Pest drunkenly, at the end of Midsummer's last night, casted about Ferragy beating Jibber and said, there's no way Jibber should be losing to Ferragy. I would smash Ferragy. I can't believe he's in the grand final. And here we see Orange Pest against the very same player. I'm AE, and today I'm with a fantastic analyst caster. It's the wonderful, the beautiful Momo for show. How are you doing, good sir? Doing great. Glad to be back. Oh, that voice. We've, we've missed you, Momo. We've missed you in the castos castosphere. Yeah, it's been quite a few years. I think um, GCS2 might have been, or maybe King of the Hill with Stormless was the last time I did some serious commentary. But we're back on a on a familiar map, aren't we? We are indeed. This is Feynmanville for Comedy Heroes 3. K-Pen and I uh, spent many an hour um, revamping this map and making it ready for Co3. I'll show you the resource territory layout. It's got this new resource system. So you've got the safe munitions. You've got brand new munitions points on the island and the beach area to really stretch the play widthways. Um, and yeah, there's a few Easter eggs as well. I'll just quickly show you the Easter eggs because they're funny. Dog and cats in a tale as old as time engagement there. I think that's pretty good, just like USF and Vermat. We've got the mules going at it, which is uh, not for relic consumption. And then, of course, we have the sacrificial goats of RNG. Now, Momo, what do, your, what do your casting analyst eyes see before you in terms of build orders and tactics? What are we seeing? Well, Fergie's, you know, uh, we've seen a real big resurgence in Airborne uh, as of recent with our USF players. Uh, the double Pathfinder opening has been very, you know, strong in countering Wehrmacht MG42s. So not only does it give you that extra capping power, capping speed, but once you get them upgraded, you do get access to flares and smokes. So you can actually deal with these MG42s a bit more easily. Um, but it is fame in Vil, So I'm interested to see how Fergie tackles it because as as this co two vets know, this map is great for packs, MGs, and indirect fire. Yeah. And although USF does have that uh, mortar uh, at Vet One to deal with MGs, Vermont players have been utilizing Nebelwerfer quite effectively as of late. So, yeah, I want to see how he plays this because it's pretty tough to flank. On it this is. Map. It is. We tried to alleviate the. Da oh, this pioneer is low. This pioneer currently has 20 health. Two more bullets should do it. He's no, no, no targets were hit. By the way, we've got mortar. We've got a bit of smoke coming in from this pathfinders early on. Gren's now low. Orange Pest is having some early game attrition. Bad RNG rolls there. Yeah, he's lucky to get away with that pioneer. Those things are very squishy. They really are. So, yeah, the, this map is a little bit easier to flank. Now we've got this hard cover wall here. We've got this flanking bush and this flanking bush. But, yeah, it's still Vermax City, baby, all the way um, on paper. Now let's see what this Pathfinder can do. Going for an early cutoff. Ferragy with the aggression. Yeah, making making strong usage of his, um, you know, overpowering infantry right now. Um, the Pioneers, he's, Orange Pest has two of them. They're not really going to be good at engaging with combat until they get flamethrowers, and even then, you can focus them down. He's only got one MG, two Grens, and he locked in Luf Luftwaffe, if you notice. There's a yeah. uh, Falschirm Pioneer there. Those are actually good at trading with riflemen. Um, yeah, that middle at distance. A distance. Yeah, exactly. Um, and also, Orange Pest wants this for the Stuka Loiters. There's no doubt about it. He... Uh, he just didn't, w wouldn't have wanted to be easy ated down in the late game, but for, you know, luckily for him, he's not up against easy eights. Instead, he's up against airborne. So, um, what's Ferragi's play here? What do you see him going for in the long run, Momo? Well, from what I've seen with this build, is you really invest into riflemen, and um, because you have access to the pair dropped AT guns, there's no huge urgency to go to mortar pool. Uh, so typically we see the USF player jump to Tank Depot in Tier 4 and try to get either a Sherman out, depending on their map control, or go for a Hellcat. Um, so you're going to see heavy investment in the ISC, so rifleman upgrades. Yes, munition um, surplus, reduce. baby. It's all about that. Here we go, Pathfinders flanking the MG. Pioneers 
pushed away yet again. A very familiar mine from the Co2 days there, just cutting off that yep. flank. But uh, again, Orange Pest forced away um, due to the smoke of Ferragi and the flanking. Yeah, some classic pushes down here. Got the classic mine placement. Orange Pest does have a second MG coming out, though, so it's really going to help him layer his defenses. Uh, the cutoff on this version of the map doesn't seem as brutal. No, it's pegged um, back a little a bit. Yeah, it's yeah. pegged back, and you've got a safe uh, munitions now. We had to do that due to the Company of Heroes 3 resource system because, of course, there's no strategic points, so we had to tweak it a little bit, basically. Yeah. But you're right there. It's a good, good shout, Momo. And, I uh, think one of the biggest reasons for picking Luftwaffe here is the um, the two elite units you get out of it, plus obviously the loiter. But with ISC being so popular and people getting the manpower reduction on their on their infantry, the uh, Luftwaffe reserve groups gives you that edge as well. Because yes. for whatever reason, Relic liked to you know they decided to add these manpower cheats into the game. So many of so them, arguably one, too many. <laughs> Yeah, if you have one and your opponent doesn't, in the course of a longer game, you know, you're going to get out-traded manpower-wise. A few things to catch up with the uh, shout casting here. We've got a cut-off attempt coming up. We had a satchel dodge up there. And to be honest, I'm just loving the patchwork quilt of territorial denial, recapture, and capture. It's been a treat to watch so far. Really high intensity. Grand final. The winner walks away with 500 crowdfunded dollars. Feels good, man. So good. How are we still doing this, Momo? How? They cannot defeat us. They can un they can release an unfinished game. We still just power on. We're like a steamroller. You know what it is? They're, we have a good overall community, and there really isn't another game like Company of Heroes. You can't just like swap to another game to get the same experience. It's called cocaine, so. my friend. And there's <laughs> nothing quite like it. There's nothing like it out there. Anyway, we've got more mines coming down. Will they see it? I can't unveil, well, re-unveil the fog of war, etc. Kind of questionable. Probably did see it, to be honest. These players will be microing out of their mines right now. Got bars pop for Farage. That's yeah. gonna go in a huge boost in power here. It's Only get those 30 munitions as well, as well, Momo. Only 30 munitions. So cheap. Yeah. It's quite disgusting when you get those <laughs> online. It's all about those ISG upgrades. I want to see if he's gonna go all in on on pour it on them, or if he's gonna split it up a bit. Because there's two MGs on the field. He's seen both now. Is he gonna utilize sprint on his yeah. on his rifleman? Or just go for the full DPS. Because look at this. Orange Pass is doing the classic Wehrmacht play. Just creeping up with MGs. He's got units screening in front of them. And the way Feynman Bill set up, it's so hard to deal with it. So you see he's got a mortar out now. But one isn't enough. No. And with someone like Orange Pass's caliber, you know, he's not just going to sit there and eat mortar shells. So Unless you get two of those. <laughs> But um, Even you're, you're, you're exactly right, Momo. It, it's going to be really tough to can keep this up whilst the uh, double MG emerges. But the utilization of smoke so far has been excellent. And also, I want to uh, do a big shout out for the uh, mining that Ferragi is capable of. I've seen some really good mining so far. Just some basically classic Company of Heroes play. And um, although Orange Pest was dunking on him yesterday verbally, I think he's going to find it harder than anticipated to do the same in the game. Yeah, we know Orange Pest is a very cocky, confident guy, you know, really believes in himself, so it's par for the course. Maybe Farage can, you know, instill a little humility on him. <laughs> but so far, it's looking pretty even, nothing crazy, no one's lost anything, I haven't seen anything yet. Mm. Did still um, some um, humility, or uh, as a fellow, uh, not countryman, because of course you come from Cali, you're, an Amer you're from America, Momo, but... The Iron Sheik of Persian descent, also from America, by the way, used to say, break his back and make him humble. Are you aware of the <laughs> WWF wrestler, the Iron Sheik? Yeah, uh, rest in peace. Rest in peace. He died, I think, a couple of years ago, maybe. But, uh, no, but recently, actually. Was it I recently? Wow. Yeah, it was this year. Well, the good old Sheik Daddy used to say, break his back and make them humble. And that's exactly what Farage wants to do right now to the ever, uh, the ever cocky Orange Pest. So let's see if he can do that. Enemy contact. 
Utilizing a smoke barrage there on his mortar, but he's gotta have to retreat that. It's a little awkward. That, that's happened to me a few times on Fame and Bill. If you don't have anything to screen for, there's nothing to stop someone from walking up to your to your mortar crew. But it's such a short and stubby map, isn't it? So these mortars, they, yeah. they do have great fire on effect, but they are vulnerable. They're weak underbelly. So many little smatterings of aggression. I'm wondering if this MG is going to push up. Yes, it does. With its pioneer spotter, by the way. So, uh, just great uh, synergies from Orange Pest thus far. Yeah, he's doing a good job of layering his MGs. Oh, there's a sprint ability. He's using it to flank. Good usage yep. there on the bottom fuel. Not oh, bottom. that was an the answer to your question earlier. Behind. Yeah, Orange Pest, you, uh, sorry, uh, Momo, early you asked if they'd use uh, pour it on him or sprint. Apparently, all the top player, all the top players are using sprint at the moment. Every single one of them. I don't know. I've seen I've seen mixed usage. It seems like it depends on what you're up against. If you're fighting more elite infantry, you know, like PGs or Falsham Jaegers and stuff, like people are more inclined to go um, pour it on them to kind of edge out the fights. But yeah, sprint is so useful on situations like this when your opponents made more than a single MG because they're so strong right now and you know you can't just sit there and get pinned instantly each time you pull up so you need to have something to work with glad so I to think hear it. you made a good decision yeah and getting some units with sprint really to glad to them, hear but. it yeah really glad to hear it. we've got riflemen versus pioneers and heavy cover here in the center rifle captain mort is pushing forward again with smoke at all times ferragy just layering on that smoke and doing a great job of it let's keep an eye of what we've got coming next looks like we're going for an early uh panzer four yeah, i mean what what else would you expect from orange fest there with the panzer company laid down yeah he forgo the you know very common strat right now with mp40s um he's banking on the fact that if he needs any kind of uh anti-vehicle power he can drop the little you know raketten that luftwaffe provides you and then just jump to tier four. Oh yeah and i yeah. think sorry no, go for it. Yeah, the L640 has seen a lot of usage, but again, it is like a Rakatenwerfer. It's easy to push away. Maybe Orange Pest doesn't want it when he's up against all these bars on such a short map. Um, so, yeah, many options ahead of them. I just love how Vermat have all these tools at disposal. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we start to see more from the other factions, too. Yeah, Vermat is definitely the most well-rounded out of all the factions. Um, Farage's getting close to being able to put down his own tank depot. It's just a little bit off. Um, now under enemy did put down his medical tent. I don't know what upgrades he's bought on ISC yet. We can actually check it out. See. Yes, we can. So if you hover over here now, you can see infantry support center, munition surplus only so far as predicted. The, the most popular. There's a couple of others that are really good as well, but uh, of course, those 30 munition bars are going to be ubiquitous with coming here as three for a very long time. Another bar yeah. push here. MG in a perfect position though. And Farage cancels the push. Let's catch up with the casualties. We've got 46 infantry kills for Farage versus 36 only for Orange Pest, indicating Farage has had a better early game. But I tell you what, Momo, Orange Pest has improved his macro control of the battlefield so much in the last six months. He really does play like a traditional co-player now. Yeah, I can hear him banging his keyboard right now as if he was streaming. <laughs> Popping the attack map open every two seconds. Yeah. But yeah, these these MGs are so hard to deal with. Uh, I can't see quite... Okay, yeah, the mortar is vet one. It does have access to the delayed fuse barrage. Oh, no. But... I hate it, Bobo. I absolutely hate delayed fuse bar, bar, uh, yeah. barrages. They're gross. They, they make no sense. You know, Why does it whistle whilst it's in the ground? Explain it to me, Momo. I can't. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> no one All can. is that the retreat modifier in this game is so, so strong that, you know, unless you fall asleep, you can get away from it. Oh, I know. When it's on an MG, you just hit that retreat button. You can probably tank one more hit and you just bail out. And, uh, yeah, I feel like these MGs are a little too hard to deal with. If you can steal one. Oh, look at this. Panzer IV is in construction. It's out now. Oh. Fergie, is he building something right now? Is that the tank depot going up? I can't tell. It is indeed, and he mu he's oh. going to want to drop an M118 gun. He's yep. got the manpower. He's got 500 manpower in the bag, so you'll see that sooner rather than later. Meanwhile, the delayed fuses have pushed something away. Panzer IV thinks it's time to play. He, he spots weakness in these defenses. He's He's gone for a, a not very often mined quarter of the map there, and he's doing some advanced reconnaissance. 
And then Farage is also upgrading for his nade package. Foregoed it for a while there, but he's gonna need something to keep the P4 back. Because one AT gun isn't gonna be enough. And since Orange Pass has two, his both opening pioneers still up and his Luftwaffe pioneers, his repairs are going to be on point. Uh, the P4 will be back in action. So one AT gun is just going to be enough to, you know, scare it. But it's, it's going to be a little sketchy. It's going to start getting sketchy for him. He's Momo. probably going to have to get a Hellcat at this point. Yeah, I, l I heard that last bit. I wasn't listening to you before that. I trust you were saying something useful for the listeners. I was checking out the rifle veterancy across the board. All four have gone for sprint. So sadly, we're not seeing that uh, combinations that you wanted to see. Just uh, updating the chat there. Okay, Panzer IV in position. MG as well. Grenadier is pushing up. Has Orange Pest overstretched his battle lines? I think... He's okay right now. He's just got to really watch that MG on the fuel. He does have a grand screen eater on the right. Pathfinders. Ooh, nice rifle nade. Yep. That hurt. That's another good utility tool that um, Pathfinders have access to. But yeah, the P4 is here, preventing these riflemen from outright bullying this MG. More suppression coming out here. Yeah, I think if Orange Pass just keeps his MGs alive, he doesn't give them away, he's going to be able to close out this game. Alcat's um, on its way. He's not um, gone for the M1 drop. Or well, has he? He has actually. My bad, he has. He's got it in position now. And he's yes, actually just fired on the Panzer IV. Yeah, I think I think this is Orange Pest game to lose. You know, if he, if he doesn't just lose his tanks to the little rocket strafe, that's another thing we haven't covered. The rocket strafe in Airborne is quite strong. Yeah. If uh, you get caught on that, you're going to lose your tank. Yeah, but. very much. It's all about those Let's angles, see. Momo. Retreat at an angle, you should be fine. Unless your opponent's you know, double bluffed you. Let's um, just cast through the tack map for a while and just get a feel for how much pressure. Oh, we do have... What's this? It's a strafe coming in, I believe. Yep been fine but just how much pressure that uh, orange pest has exerted he's in a commanding lead as momo has declared and also he has the kind of map balance faction dynamic advantage um Capo and i did not foresee just how popular and powerful support weapons were going to become again in company heroes and uh, isilda basically quit a bad month to stop playing co because he would have been in his element in this environment <laughs> Yeah, considering his best friend plays 1v1s now too, huh? Yep. But I think I think Orange Pest, um, it's looking really good for him. I mean, look at the VP control too. He's going to get faction pick if he closes this out. And if it does go to an ace game. Being at 400 VPs, it's quite strong. Oh, what is this? This is, this is the, the this is Yeah, the loiter reinforcements. Um, so recon no, loiter, recon, as they call recon. it. Recon loiter, my bad, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got excited for a moment because I saw the infantry pushing in. It reminded me of the first month of the game. Hellcat goes in, big shot there, but, you know, does how much damage? 180 damage, is it? Something like that. Ooh. Oh. Here they come. Oh, those improved planes. I love it. <laughs> Thanks, Miguel. Yeah! We sacrificed Miguel, or one of our most exciting players, to the gods of Relic, and he's finally giving us our dividend. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be tough. Like we were saying earlier, by the time the Hellcat comes out, there's going to be two Panzer IVs. Orange Pest has dropped the LG-40. That's going to be another thing to deal with. He's not. He hasn't been able to deal with the MGs because it's so difficult on this map. It and is. look at this. False Maker is capping right outside your base. They're triple capped. There's sandbags everywhere. <laughs> ah. The Hellcat, does it, does it have the pintle? Seemingly no, not. It it's just been a distraction at the moment. But uh, Ferragi has lost the war at the moment. He needs something miraculous to get back into this because Orange Pest is all over him. He's beaten him on a tactical level, but now also a strategical level too. And a big shout out, by the way, when me and Momo were analyzing the small things in the middle, Orange Pest was always pushing up north and down south. I don't know if you guys noticed that on the minimap earlier on in the game, but it really does add up. Momo is a bit great at controlling the battlefield these days, just like the players of Yore, Lovnest and Isilda and the likes of that. Yeah, he's he definitely... 
has brought himself towards the top tier level of players. Because what I remember, Orange Pest was like kind of like Elpern in the sense that he wasn't there from the start. No. At least not publicly. But then, you know, they made a name for themselves, which is always nice to see because that shows that people continued, have continued to join the franchise, you know. Definitely. That's so always nice. And Jibber as well. I mean, all the right. Master League mainstays, they benefited. These guys were like C12, 13, and 14 when the Master League first kicked off. And they stuck with the ML all the way through the process. They were patrons themselves. They were really supportive. And they now benefit from it. Because who knows what's around the corner for the coming Heroes 3 competitive scene if Relic keep improving the game. Yeah, you never know. Remember, Co2 got that random $20,000 tournament. You know? Exactly. Like, what, six years in or so? so it made no know. sense then. So even though it makes no sense now, what's to stop something like that from happening? You know what I mean? Yeah. Agreed. You never know what's... 77 VPs for a fair G, though. Oof. He's, yeah, he's going to bleed quickly here. Nice double nade there. Force the retreat. He's going to be able to neutralize that push there. Going for that triple cap. He's sending stuff down south, but it's the same problems I've been encountering against Vermacht on this map. So against someone who's relatively decent at repositioning their MGs, you're just going to keep getting caught. And the rate that it pins your guys... Oh. It's just so hard to deal with. And then there's the P4s to clean things up. Yeah. So I don't think see. this there's map will be viable for tournaments until they start to balance the support weapons in the other direction. They've gone too far in one direction. Now we need a little bit in the other direction, if you get my uh, my meaning. Yeah, I think... Um, I, I love that we're, we're rehashing these maps, and I think Famonville does deserve to have a spot. But right now, with the way... MGs are performing. It's a little rough. Oh, he's got oh, the rocket straight coming he in. Gets oh, he just took out the MG. And, and the, the Panzer IV. IV. Is this what Ferragi needs to get back in the game? A he was taking a swig of beer and then he saw a plane descend from the sky, taking out two units in the blink of an eye. Is Ferragi back in this thing all of a sudden? He's got to step on the VPs though. He's bleeding still. Look at these friends are coming on to put their put their meat sacks on the VPs. Oh, there's a grenade! Car 98k to finish the job, possibly, on these two weakened rifles. Orange Pest strikes back. Oh, dude, he's still bleeding. He's down to 46, and you know with the code 3 UP tick rate, it's, it's going to drop down a lot quicker. He didn't lose any squads, though, there. Those definitely got really low. Mm. So tune Momo there for a second. And we've got Felschmiegers battling in the north versus Vet 2 rifles. 20 kills to their name. He's got to rescue this back. He's got the one in the south, but he's up against airdropped Falsham Jaegers right now. It's not going to go well for him. No, it looks like Orange Pass is going to be able to close this out. Yeah, should be. Orange Pest does gamble when he wants to close out a game on VPs, by the way, Momo. He has been known to throw things onto them, but this time it seems to be working. Um, Vets, two rifles with only sprint. If they had pour it on him right now, Momo, like you wanted, this would be a different story. It's true. Is this rifleman? Yep. He's going to be able to win that fight. We'll the hope he right there. Z, okay, all cats move up on the right side. He's tracking their four. Grenadiers are kind of like chilling the smoke here. Try to hold on to his PP a bit longer. Yeah. Momo, would you leave the call and rejoin the call, please, just to see if it gives you more bandwidth? Thank you. I'll share the screen with you in a second. Hellcat's pushing in for the Panzer Four. Reverse the way we have Faust on these Falsham Jaegers. This could be a dead Hellcat. Can he evade? It looks likely. Oh, max range shot from the LG40. Oh, that's unfortunate, let's say. Oh, we're sounding out there, Momo. You've joined the call again? Yeah, am I still Mr. Destructoid? No, you're better now. No more auto shoot, Momo. I'm just so happy. Right, to almost be in exposed this game. myself for being a robot. <laughs> that MG just died to the delayed fuse? Delayed fuse, baby. Oh man, is this is this really falling apart right now for Orange Pass? There's no way. There's a Sherman in construction well, uh, there too. Sadly, the Hellcat in the north bit the dust just here. Uh, sadly, but the infantry's having a nice time. 
Yeah, he has four riflemen. He still has a Pathfinder left. Captain's still alive. It's it's gonna be quite the slot. 25 um, victory to 393. Yeah. But don't forget, guys, he wants faction selection for G3. So let's see That's how that That's true. Goes. Any any bit of VP bleed he can inflict can be a small victory. You know, the Von Ivan, the Von Ivan method, as we all know. Ah. Um... Let's see, look at that, he's right outside the base. That cover of the destroyed P4 just got blown up, so the rifleman got suppressed. Oh, this grenade! Gonna eat a nade. Oh, that's nasty! We can't lose any engagement right now. No. From any of these VPs, because then that means he's gonna die. Yeah, <laughs> it's an unenviable position to be in. If you mess up once, you're dead. Yeah. Ouch. And he's Another thing up. with USF here, without armored... Uh, Armored company is your repairs are going to be super slow. Yeah. Sherman's taking an engagement here on the P4. Where are the AT guns? AT gun for Fergie's moving up. I don't see the little uh, Riketten. What happened to that thing? Still holding on. Yeah, he's got two Ooh, Shermans nice now. Rifle's got a lot to do. Vet 3, Falchion Pioneer with 25 kills pushing away the Vet 3 Mortar. Oh, wow. Just one squad from Orange Press could go south and finish this thing off for I know, there's nothing there. Yeah. These Shermans aren't going to do too much unless they hit Vet 1. Oh, well, I mean, Ooh. if you park in front of two of them, they're going to die. But... Good kill here. How... He's dead. Yep. He kept the victory point, Memo. The dream is alive for Vera G right now. The dream is well and Orange truly alive. Is raging right now. <laughs> oh, he's dropping. What is that? Falchion Pios or? Yep, yep. Falchion Pios, Pios on the south. There's nobody there. Okay, the dream is over. Cancel the dream, everybody. Message to chat. Know, Please cancel all dreams. Up. Oh, it's a race against time. Oh, let's get this. This is Hollywood style. He's capping. This could all be over. They're pushing into the victory point. Can they neutralize? Let's check it out. Oh, he's kept it in allied no, hands for now. He's now got it. He's going to throw a satchel down, too. For sure. He's desperate. He's going to do it. I'm excited, Momo. Is Fergie, is Fergie going to dodge it, though? There's no way, know. right? I don't know. Here it is comes. There, it's on the retreat oh, path. Between. What is he doing? Oh, oh my so God. low. But he kept the dream alive. Meanwhile, in the center, big infantry battle. So important. We've also got one in the north. Oh, he's gone north, Momo. This is awesome. Doesn't matter if he loses here. MG can do whatever it likes right now. It does not matter. The Shermans are like Pac-Man with the big pill. They're just chopping I think Orange units. Pest is, is falling into that trap that a lot of us do where you see your opponent on the ropes and you start throwing everything at the VPs when you have all the time in the world to, to make a, a good effort. Okay, well, he did wipe the Pathfinder. <laughs> yeah, 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 he did. Well, Copium right there. He's going to oh, eat it. and an aid. And an aid. Oh, engine damage. Where's the follow-up, though? Here's the follow-up. we got the M180 gun, baby. Can it get into range? It's so close to being in range. Just go a bit further forward. Let's check the victory points out here. The Sherman's on. low. Sherman's gone in. Oh, my. That's a lot of action there. Let's check out North. Can the M1 catch up? Doesn't look likely. Fashion makers can have some fun with him when they're finished. Meanwhile, this Sherman's having some fun over here. Oh, Fergie got lost it. his engineer squad, though. He's going to have to wait in base with that Sherman who somehow got away from the LG-40. I don't know if it bounced or missed the killing the shot. The hell? Too much to keep control of right now, Momo, from a caster's perspective, where it's all over the bloody place. Falsham Yeagers die on the line just to capture one victory point there. Oh, no, he's going forward. He could get Fausted here. This could be dangerous. A lot of infantry is coming his way. There's the Wombo Combo Crew Shock only. Recon loiter for Fergie too. Maybe he's worried about a second P4 coming out of construction and pushing him off. So good, good foresight by him. He's keeping that uh, visible. Yeah. And he's gonna go down. He's gonna go up for that northern VP here. Where's this boy's been forward? practicing, Momo. You only get this calmness under pressure with serious practice hours. Big credit to Fergie. He's showing a real calm head on his shoulders. So deep into a frenetic, fast-paced battle. Yet another critical on this Panzerfall. Can he finally finish the job? Looks like he's kind of playing it safe, keeping it away with the little AT nade plinks here and there. Yep, yep. Uh, good play, backing up the riflemen, not fully retreating them, because he knows that he needs to keep these squads of Orange Pass near this VP so they can't go harass the other ones. 
By the way, all and the uh, them up. all the Co3 haters in chat have STFU'd now. I don't know if you've noticed. To quote British soccer fans, you're not singing anymore. You're not singing anymore. Right, Captain's got a lot of work to do. Where's the follow-up? Finally, the Sherman's going to be ready, but this could all be over very swiftly if he's not careful. What is this drop right here? It's some kind of plane. Oh, this oh. Captain's going to commit Subuku over, <laughs> uh, Subaru over here. Whichever, he's yeah. He's got a short sword up the diaphragm. It's not very healthy either way. It's association football, guys. Oh, no. Get a grip. I'll call it what I want. All right. Oh, we've got a catch and run! Oh my god, a catch and Victory run! Victory catch and run, run Momo! There's no way that he wins with this. This is epic! Oh, the There's Sherman's no coming! Hi, catch and run! No, no way. Go, the go to AE is... Island! Go to AE Island, quickly! Oh, damn it! No. He's not going to get it. There's no way. There's no way! So close! So close! Oh, oh Falshi Baker's winning in the north, though. There's only an M118 going up there. Why isn't Fergie using airborne, dude? So true! Point, now under enemy yeah, he can't quite afford the power drop right now, but... Right, here's, here come the Shermans. They're hungry. Oh, no, he's going for it. Oh. Fury over here. Oh, that cap! It, the bleeder's on, the bleeder's on. No. 19, 19, 17. Oh my, this has been a game. It has actually been a game, but it's also been a game. These Shermans need to clean up the Falschermjägers. 11, 9, no, it's up over. Oh, 7. Oh, we've got a battle down south. Oh, what a drop he there. Oh, stop it, the cap. He got the cap. He got the cap. They weren't they active. Didn't... They weren't active because relics adherence to the Geneva Convention, Momo. They're not active until the parachutes have disappeared. Meanwhile, Sherman's gone in. Engine damage on that Panzer IV. Ferragy caps on five victory points in the center. Oh my, oh god. my god. Oh that my god, what a game! Shredded. Orange Pass has four squads left. Ah, it's man. over. This is awesome. This Dang. is awesome. <laughs> Orange Pest got cooked by an animation. He needed to wait for the animation to finish before they could begin stopping the decapture. Or the capture, I guess. The capture completion. That makes sense, yeah. Oh, GG oh, called no. on five victory points. Orange Pest does not have enough left. 1-0 to Faraji as the underdog faction. Ridiculous game. Take it away, Momo. What did we just see? Wow. Speechless, dude. Farage just put on a show for us right there. He didn't give up. No matter how low the VPs got, Orange Pest sends the blood in the water like a shark. <laughs> but like I said, he, he fell into that little that hole where you, you know your opponent's on the ropes. They have 20 VPs. You're so close to closing it out, and you start taking all these extra risks to push them off the VPs. And too many of those pushes went wrong for him. And he kept losing units in these pushes. Mm. So now his holds on the VPs became looser and looser. And Fergie kept it, most of his mo he kept his most relevant things alive, right? The yeah. riflemen were still around. You lose a pathfinder, whatever. The riflemen were still up, and they're able to keep up the pressure and prevent the VPs from draining out. And yeah, that was Orange Pest's game to lose, hundred percent. I did the, that rocket strafe might have been the turning point. He lost an MG. Oh. I don't know if I got completely blown up or if he recruited it, but he also lost the P4. And that P4 is what let him have the advantage over the Hellcat, uh, which he did end up cleaning up, but man, what a game. The Rifleman. Momo, my analogy for it would be something like this, okay? You've got a kid you're coaching in, in a sport or an endeavor. Could be tennis, could be hockey, could be football, could be shooting. And this kid knows he's got a fault. Orange Pest knows he's got this problem where he, he tries to close out VP games and he gets sloppy. 
He's already in a commanding lead, and he just thinks, ah, I've got this, let's go. He knows he has this problem. He's already lost big Master League games this season due to this problem. I've spoken to him about it. I have ridiculed him for it, yet he did it again in the grandest stage possible. So it's a big facepalm moment for him because he knows he has this weakness, Momo, yet here he is yet again throwing away a decisive lead due to VP... Um, rush sloppiness. He just he just wants to close the game out, so he gets sloppy. Oh man! Yeah, he had he had all the tools he needed to just, you know, whatever. You're gonna burn a few more VPs for the ace game potentially, but if you can bank up for the loiter, that thing is busted in that it's gonna pin all of the infantry squads, right? Even if it's not killing anything, you're gonna pin all his squads in that AOE, letting you pick up the VP. So I think. Yeah, same thing. He just he just rushed it in the end, and it cost him big time. I don't know. Do you know what the potential ace game map would be? Uh, it's all down to Vito's, bro, so I have no clue. Um, I leave them to Vito okay. these days, so it's whatever the second map to be not vetoed was kind of thing. Okay. Um, yeah, I didn't know if the finals, they were required to tell you. But, yeah, I mean, I didn't catch the exact VPs that Orange passed. Well, no, Fergie didn't have anything, so as long yeah. as Orange Pest can close out It was out five. He had five. This game. Yeah. Yeah, uh, but so as long what... as you can, yeah, yeah, we we know how it works. So great showing by Fergie. I know he scrims a lot. I don't know how much Orange Pest has been playing lately, but you know, there's been a lot of people who have been upping their play time. Mm. You know, in mm. most recent times, and there's people like myself and others that have kind of, you know, slowed down a bit. Mm. Uh, Diablo, and um, <laughs> you know, there's some people who are here to take advantage. Yeah. And Fergie's showing that he, he deserves to be here. But I ran a, a King of the Hill style event and Fergie caught my eye last year. He actually showed real improvement last year. And um, th 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 that has continued. Um, some people in chat saying it was just the P4 loss. It was the plane. Yeah, that was a decisive moment. But Orange Pest, could, he had to just get him down by... He had 25 victory points. Uh, to get his opponent down by and he went in trickles and drabs and he tried to drop para drops here and there and he lost about four squads after that um yeah so no it was more than just the p4 that was a turning moment but orange pest all all he had to do was just keep his nerve and make one big decisive push with ex momo's example is perfect with stuka loiter if he'd had Stuka loiter that he could have finished the game off that's if in hindsight it's 2020 though let's face it uh, right. it, it, the amount of pressure going on in the game is crazy, right? Like it's easy correct. to sit back and say you did this wrong, did that wrong, but once you're in that situation, you can't really say how it's gonna go, and that's where the real like cream of the crop players come come to the spotlight. I think macro wise, maybe Orange Pass started really falling apart because of the Doctrine pick overall, um, mm. MP40 Grands, and then PGs with the um, the upgrade the veterancy thing you can buy yeah really start to scale well and let you keep up with riflemen but as we saw there the orange pass had what two false stream jaegers and those are only really able to keep up with riflemen um once they start getting vetted but he's way outnumbered the grens aren't going to do anything but be zombie mergers pioneers are going to get melted he had one loof um false stream pioneer um i think he replaced he lost two of them the infantry was just too much to deal with. So once you start losing the P4s, which are really, you know, put in the plugs and the holes, then there's nothing to stop the riflemen from walking over you. So I really think there he would have benefited from breakthrough more than um, Possibly. from Luftwaffe. But you know what? I don't know what his what was in his head, right? He had an idea in mind. Yeah, he's but... a great player. And his micro is a little bit better than Farage's. You do sense it in maybe two to three moments a game. But Farage isn't actually that far behind Orange Pest. And what I'm liking from Farage is the quality and consistency of his traditional Company of Heroes play actually seems to have a higher median average than Orange Pest, if you get what I mean. Like, the mining, the yeah. reconnaissance, the smoke. Like, he's doing a lot of the basics really well and arguably more consistently than Orange Pest. Anyway, Momo, we're both big co-fans. We could talk a long time. Let's just get into this game too. And here we are. We stand before us a very proud Ferragy because this guy is 1-0 up in this best of three series in his first major appearance in a major tournament for the Company of Heroes series. I'm here with Momo. 
somebody that is an excellent caster. And to be honest, I just want you all to applaud Momo for his fantastic Company Heroes casting analyst skills. So everybody just say Momo in chat, please. Just say Momo. It's, he'll know what it means. Thank you. I appreciate it greatly. Pathfinder's already getting up to four um, models here. And again, we're seeing Airborne. I wonder what we're going to see from Farage. Breakthrough. It's going to be Breakthrough. Are you happy with that, Momo? Yeah, I mean, not for Orange Pass, but it's good for Farage. Um, I think uh, MP40 Grens are probably a little bit overtuned right now. Um, they're they're going to be tough to deal with. Uh, they're going to walk over the Pathfinders once he gets them online. And um, I'm just... I'm just curious to see how the early engagements goes, because a lot of the time that determines if the Wehrmacht player is going to jump ahead to Tank Depot and skip out on the Panzer Grenadier building. Because uh, you typically see four Grens come out online with an MG, potentially a second MG. It is Fame and Bill. So, yeah, I, I want to see if Orange Pest can do better early game against this kind of strategy than um, Farage did. Yeah, By the way, uh, can you share your screen? I can absolutely, Orange Pest. It's a really good idea to show you the game. I think that... Sorry, uh, Momo for show. I think it's a really good idea because it's going to help you cast. So, yeah, good idea. Seconded. And there you go. You've got the stream. Okay, we've got Grenadiers versus Pathfinders. They're going to go into the giant Vermax Mega Mansion. Um, it's a good idea, but you've only got this front to shoot from. So the best tactic is to actually just go around the sides and they can't shoot you anymore. So inadvertent. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've gotten scammed big time on this building. I always <laughs> keep thinking there is a exit in the yep. back side of the building, and then I just eat nades being thrown at the door. So okay. I'm not getting in that building anymore. It's terrible. It's, <laughs> the, the Nazi Mega Mansion is terrible. But I can explain. I can explain. Please, believe me. k -Pen showed me the models, the garrison models he had to work with. There were three, and the other two were even worse than this one. <laughs> so the world builder has no nothing to work with. So the fact we yeah. have anything that looks like Feynmanville is a minor miracle. Yeah, uh, we need more. We need more mod support. Massively, it's it's really scant yep. out there. Um, it really is. There's three Grens online. ISC's building for Orange Pass. He actually went for two riflemen instead of three. We'd normally see um, three riflemen being built. So. I wonder if that means he's going to fit a paratrooper squad, or... Oh, wait, nope. There it is. There's a third rifleman. Oh, there we go. Finally, yeah. That was a weird... That was a little weird order. I don't know if um, it's just a display issue in the UI, but... ISC is in production. They've captured a and this cutoff point. is underway from Farage. He's getting hot and in there. So all this work here, Rifle it's going to be ready. absolutely made redundant. Territory is being contested. <laughs> Resources cut off. We have territory isolated. I think that's the first cutoff I've seen in the north like that. Like out of all the Code 3 Fame and Build games I've seen. Completed. Is it really? What yeah. are these guys was doing? It last game? Yeah, it's, there was it one, seems kinda hard. It's yeah, it's supposed more difficult. Maybe we need more tuning, but uh, I wanna see what this balance patch brings us, Momo. This balance patch has a lot riding on it. We had no balance changes in the um, purple dandelion or whatever the hell the last operation was. So uh yeah. Yeah, I don't know, man. Emerald Bear. Yeah, we, we got to wait and see. Planes and Zoom. Um, Let's, you know, it was this moment. It's now this. I mean. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Uh, hopefully it's not the end of July, you know, because mm. another month of uh, this meta. All I'll say. Kind of tragic. All but... I'll say, Momo, is as I said, I've got a big tourney coming. $3,000 of crowdfunded money. And I, you know, I want to know when I can do it. So it's on the first yeah. weekend of August. And Relic haven't promised me anything, but, you know, the, I feel reasonably safe. Safer than the ML4 event that had to be cancelled twice, let's say. So let's bloody yeah, hope it was it's rough. in July. It was terrible, terrible. Five There's kills the fourth Grenadier for Farage. Has he popped an MP40 yet? Let's have a little look on the good old tactical map. That might help us. No. Yep, there is one. Oh, north. actually, yeah, good eyes. The map good eyes. for a bit. That's another thing. The tac map needs a little rework. Oh, a little bit of work? The icons uh, are uh, a lot of work. bigger than Kansas. They're huge. Yeah. And the sectors as well. Everything about it. But other than that, it's great. 
Yeah. Balls pop. I'd agree with that. <laughs> yeah, nice, nice pop uh, of the bars there. You know, a lot of skill. Click the button. We got uh, a couple LMGs going. He is buying the munition surplus. It's almost completed. He's got enough munis, I believe. Yeah, to, to get them all. The second bar. Fergie still just has one MP40. So there is that huge power spike coming in for Orange Pass that maybe you can convert to a bit more dominance on the map before a potential second MG42 hits the uh, hits the field. Hopefully. Let's see. Let's see. I mean, Orange Pass seems a little bit more reserved than one would expect. I don't actually think he's gone past this line yet very much. This might be the first a time. MP40. No. You have two MP40s pushing in. Those, they're uh, going to obliterate these two squads. Oh, man. Nice usage of sprint, but they're already too weak to really keep fighting. And let's not forget that Fergie has access to sprint, too. Dude, and that it looks like he's great. the vet one uh, on the building as well. Yep. The infantry company. Infantry company Everything's training's one. in. Yeah, it's really good. A very popular. He can skip it out on buying... Uh, exactly, yeah. He can skip out on buying uh, healing for a long time now. He can. You still want it because, of course, the ambient heal of Vet 1 isn't very fast. But, yeah, you can delay it for a long time. Nice smoke mm -hmm. there from the Pathfinders. Orange Pest is keeping the dream alive. He's got this plus 10 connected still until the Pioneers do their dirty work, of course. But, uh, you yeah, know, that was clever. Of course, uh, we... Yeah, good usage. Can't rifle nade, of course, because they aren't... They share a timer. Nice little flank here. Well, actually, he didn't attack move. They're just kind of... Are they going for the MG? Is that what's going on? Yes. I think so. Okay. Yes. Good Makes play. Sense, right? Coming in from two sides. Yeah, it's going to force a retreat. Up north. Almost lost that rifleman in Pathfinder, but does get away. And they yeah, are in retreat. That. Yeah. There we go. They're, they're all okay. And Orish Pest here. with a classic defense there. Momo... That was pretty badass from Orange Pest to go all the way around the edges there. He's under a lot of pressure. He's got a lot of pride at stake. And he was able to, um, yeah, really wrestle his way out Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu style and um, come out victorious <laughs> with a lot of the map. Is that, is it, do you know that about him or something? He, he does Jiu-Jitsu? He does no, uh, DevM does Jiu-Jitsu. Orange uh -huh. Pest plays Company of Heroes and drinks a lot. <laughs> But uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is a great analogy. It shows the weaker position, and you can wrestle your way out Royce Gracie style. And uh, I think everybody, if they are, uh, if they're a man I respect, they get the analogy. And I don't care about anybody else, so it's fine. That's the way to go about it. <laughs> <laughs> Another rifleman for Orange Pass and what? a PG coming out for Farage. So we're doubling down on the bars, and we're doubling down on the STGs. And slash, you know, assault rifles. Weapon support center? Is that There's my... no way. Is he going to get, get a sniper? sniper? No, oh, Jinx, you can't speak. Momo, 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 it's okay, you're back in. Uh, but yeah, it looks like we're going to get a sniper from Orange Pest. The man who was rocked with a Twitch disclaimer saying how much he hates snipers for seven years is getting a sniper. Hey, man, the desire not to lose is strong. <laughs> Can you blame him? The amount no. of shit he chatted Everyone's yesterday about Ferrigi. <laughs> yeah, he can't. If he loses this match and you go to his stream and talk about it, you're going to get banned. Okay? It's that simple. Um, good good pushes by Ferrigi. He's really utilizing the little breaks in, in vision. Um, using the shrubs to close in on squads. He's going to capture this southern fuel, and his riflemen aren't going to be able to hold on against double MP40s. Man, the, the power level difference between vanilla grens being cannon fodder, merge zombies, to them getting the MP40 is just insane. Night and day, my friend. You give them the power gauntlets, and all of a sudden their actual grenadiers as we live and breathe. But uh, before that, they're Ostrupen, so yeah, it changes a lot. Let's see it. Come on, Orange Pest. You've made a pact with the devil. What's going to happen? Now under enemy control. Complete, sir. <laughs> Imagine if it's is a it construction. Oh, it's not. No. Oh, I mean, that is a thing. I know some people like uh, Zulu Cobra, who I think is in the chat. He likes to cheese people with the phosphorus rockets. But the thing is, I'm pretty sure you have to get them to vet one first. So it's kind of late for that. Mm. Um, 
MG still has one. He's he's trying to maintain his honor, you know. Ah. <laughs> yep. One MG, one mortar. You know, quote unquote fair play. <laughs> <laughs> Literally That's made a mod right? for that in Co2 recently, mobile. One of everything mod, just because I never want to see Co2 again if it's two of every support weapon. You know what I mean? Yeah. True. Okay. Quite, quite stale. Just for people joining the chat, this is game two of a best of three, the grand final of the fourth tournament of the first season of Gubbly Heroes 3. And it's 1 0 to Farage. You know what? Scratch that. Farage has no honor. He's building a second MG. It's in construction. Look at that captain uh, off. Uh, mortar barrage thing coming down there. Mine's going down for Farage. Bars closing in on MP40s. I don't know if you want to do that. It's kind of a coin flip. Oh, squad white coming oh. in here. Can he get it? Can he get it? So little health. 24. Two bullets remaining. He's going to be fine. Safe. Oh, three retreat this... modifier strikes <laughs> again. That's disgusting. I always hated the retreat modifiers in Co. 1 for Brits, and I've now seen them return, but for four factions at the same time. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, that smoke is actually going to save these pioneers from getting wiped, probably. Noise. Well, not nice yeah, they for got Orange Pest, I guess. But Orange Pest yeah, is, and he only uh, has one. He's had a dodgy start, but he's wrestled back. He has 33 kills to 35, and he's looking reasonably strong. And he's getting an MG. Interesting. There's no way. Yeah. Maybe he's just wow. sick of these uh, MP40 Grenadiers, but I, I genuinely thought the Sniper was the way to go there. That's Yeah, that's a shock. I thought he was going to build a Sniper, too. I mean, it is kind of sketchy with... Pretty much all his squads having sprint, and there being shot blockers you can hide behind um, in certain spots. But yeah, I mean, grenadiers can put up sandbags, so it's gonna be pretty tough to deal with with them. Mm, with all... one thirty cal with the worst arc in the game. Yeah, so. it's it's not that good. Look at this; he's already around the edge of it here. Pathfinders have to defend the line. Meanwhile, they've got riflemen behind. Heavy cover waiting for the pioneers in the north. We got Panzer Grenadiers ready to strike. Already Veteran C1 there, indicating possibly we'll get a stug next, maybe. We'll just have to wait and see. And there's the mortar. Finally. Get this thing Took to a bed. while. Could have yeah. been that one by now. Yes, it could. I was thinking that, Momo. Ooh, that was a big bundle made. Was. He did retreat relatively on time. He's on safe, he's safe, my friend. Yeah. MG operating in the center, but here comes that rifle nade boy. Oh, it's a smoke. Oh no, it's a rifle nade, just a bad one. Very erratic. Nice, nice things. little flank there. Yeah. Uh, it's it's a little it's a little tough. They got a, a second flank there, nice. Grenadiers getting a little bit of reprieve, healing up and then re-engaging. I like to see that. No full retreats here unless absolutely necessary. Oh, nice, nice preemptive nade, bro. I nice. love to see it. That's one of the ways you can catch people off guard is preemptively nade them. You can nade them on retreat. You can nade them to the side of the cover where they currently stand. Or in this case, nade them to the cover they're moving to. So great work from Mr. Pest. Yeah, he's not going to go down without a fight. And having said that, he's up on VP. So, you know, it's nothing's urgent here. Is that a Panzer IV in production and Tank Depot for Orange Pest? Or is it both buildings going up, it looks like? Uh, yes, he's making a building that can make the Panzer IV. So in a way, yes, but in a way, no. And the same for Orange Pest, then. So they're relatively on par, although Orange Pest does have a lot more Victory points. units on field he needs to re reinforce, while the hidden benefit, you can say, of Breakthrough is that it's very manpower efficient. You have two weapon crews. You have grenadiers that are super cheap to reinforce. Um, he only has one PG, two support weapons. He can utilize merge to save manpower. So in the manpower area, until Orange Pest gets the ISC upgrade, he's gonna be behind. So basically, um, instead of having, they they also they have ten very obvious and massive benefits, but they also now have hidden benefits. Great stuff. Sprinting grenadiers with MP40s catch the. M1919 unawares pushing away a lot of material in the center. Good news for Orange Pest. He's making gains in the north. But meanwhile, Farage himself is making gains in the south. So they're doing a yin-yang flipperoo of the map here. Yeah. 
It's good showing by look at this using the shot blockers with the MP40s. So much value. Like he's gonna have to reposition his squads. Rifleman making the wise choice of double teaming here. Fergie sticking a lot longer than he should, but it's okay. Retreat modifier is here for you. I'll tell you what, this has done that first game lost to Orange Pest. Uh, there, Momo. It's made Orange Pest now play seriously as he possibly can do. This is like really, really, really um, methodically good Company of Heroes play. Yes, it hasn't been brave. It hasn't been showy or crazy. It's been really methodical because he cannot afford to screw up. It's only a best mm -hmm. of three and he wants the W. Yeah, there's no way Orange Pest will live down getting 2-0. Uh, in the finals, but you know what? I think, to be fair, the way Famineville makes you play, it kind of bottlenecks both players in a certain play style. Yeah, true. Um, like it's a bit tough. Orange Pass, you know, I'll give him credit. He's been finding ways to flank these MGs and try to get some favorable engagements, but the Grands are starting to hit Vet 3. They're moving in tactical control groups here. The riflemen <laughs> do not want to be stuck behind the lines here because... A little sketchy. Yep. It's they've got a lot of health. They're in the medium cover crater. But yeah, it's sketchy AF at the moment. And I can feel Ferragi is beginning to gain control. Luckily for that rifleman, he's evaded the MP40's effective distance. We have a grenade to throw them off, keep them moving so their accuracy isn't high. Meanwhile, all this captain's in for it. No, everything's been forced off. He should now be fine. Orange Pest is continuing to fight back here. He just bought an ISC upgrade too. I think it was the reinforced one. We can That's find gonna be out. That's going to be a boon. Infantry support center, munition surplus, reinforcement, time state modifier. That's right, baby. It's time Panzer to modify it. Modify that time state as the Panzer IV is indeed under production. Let's see if we can actually see what happens inside this factory. It's a live Dane in there. Oh, Dane's in there. Yes, this is an excellent Dane. Panzer IV. Keep making it, guys. <laughs> he's, he's, he's Dane's a... working overtime in there. Hard manual labor, <laughs> but it's worth it. I love Imperial Dane, by the way. One of my favorite people in the community. Same. Even if we do somewhat unflattering impersonations, he's still the greatest caster company heroes has ever seen. So, yeah. So, how many how many shout casts does he have? Five thousand like, and counting. Five thousand. <laughs> Imperial Day, you heard him in chat. I I love AE when he stays silent. That's how our co-casting goes, uh, Momo. It's very funny. It's very funny stuff. <laughs> Gotta be able to poke fun at each other. Of course. All in good fun. And the four just going for the base, and Orange Pest is forced to drop the AT gun here. He's got to. Yeah, he's, he's probably hoping not to have to do that, but his fuel situation is looking bleak. Hellcat is still 13 fuel away. Oh no, he's going to get circle straight here. Oh, no. does he, even have, he does have Yes, mage. he does. Crew Shock is in. M1 is reinforcing as fast as it can do. It's what a, is this? It's a difficult re recruitment program. They're asking for new members whilst they're being blasted in the face. Panzer IV is, is thinking twice the of the situation. We've got a bundle nade threatening on this mortar. He's got to be careful. But meanwhile, Farage eating up the map. That was the weirdest base dive I've ever seen. The Panzer IV turret was just going back and forth. It wasn't really shooting too much. Oh, that was a good hit. Yeah, it was. But tight. yeah, that was... 12 weird. infantry kills already on this Panzer IV. Yeah, it's putting in work. It's already Vet 1. He didn't buy the upgrade, did he? Nah, he just... Dude, 15 kills will get it. you Vet 1. I promise yeah, you that. that was... I promise you that. It could be a typical, like, Wehrmacht uh, Panzer crew member. He's just like, oh, yeah, I totally killed 15 people just now. You know, give me my uh, Iron Cross with leaves and oak leaves and a, a, a symbol of ambush. Hitler's face and all sorts. Yeah, this will be cool, man. Oh, no, they've been spotted. Pathfinder's going to eat dirt. Oh, no, he's going to he's gonna hang out. I thought that would be pretty. When the grenades came over, I thought it'd be cool, but they got spotted. One of them had their heel poking out of the bush. Look at this map for Farage, bro. The enemy holds all victory points. Yeah, I think it's looking like we don't want to play on Fame and Bill in Master League. Dude, the the USF won the first game. What are you trying to say? 
well, like, I, I mean, it was his game to lose, though, to, in all fairness. But he you know, did lose. Recovered. He did lose. It's not impossible, but when you play it like Farage is right here, it's kind of hard, kind of hard to win. We'll see. We'll see. You Don't just know have to... what the MG's doing there. Well, we've got Bars flanking, pushing out to get the victory point, because uh, the victory points have started to even out now. Grenadiers are going to punish them for their temerity. Meanwhile, in the center, we've got a similar predicament. But nice nade flank on the MG. Orange Pest yet again, somehow spawning riflemen in the middle of the map. Another grenade here, for pushing around the Panzer Grenadiers and the Grenadiers themselves. Mortar forced off. We've got Bars pushing in. I tell you what, Orange Pest is having some nice engagements here, Momo. Yeah, he's he's got a lot of a lot of riflemen, a lot of bars. Fergie was almost at a thousand manpower just now, kind of oh. under underscoring my point about how efficient the manpower um, costs are with this strategy. He's yeah. constructing that second Panzer IV. He can almost get a Stastrupen squad if he really wanted to. We all love a and, good Stoss. And Orange Pest can't even afford a Hellcat. A Not at the moment. He costs 220. Uh, manpower and only 80 fuel. Mine hit there for the rifleman. There was another one lined up. Ferragi laid them very early on. Again, been laying so many mines this tournament. Panzer IV nearing full health as the second one now hits the field. It's going south, and this is not looking good for Orange Pest. Yeah, Fergie's slowly blinking away at the VPs. Orange Pest is still about 60 ahead, so he's got a bit of time to work with, but these two Panzer IVs are going to close the gap really quickly. Tapped him with his uh, mortar barrage there going down. He's going to force a retreat. Yeah, you'd think so. It's still not moved quite yet. There we go. Some big hits. Oh, he ate nice some hits, big shells, yeah. Hellcat is almost... Oh no, it's not almost. It's a little deceptive on the bottom, but it's in construction. Orange Pest does not have enough for the rocket strafe. Because he is utilizing a lot of a lot of grenades and abilities. Yep, Farage's now fun. fighting back with this horde of uh, the Panzer Grenadiers and Grenadiers. Panzer IV providing supporting fire. MG does not know where it wants to set up. It's got a lot of indirect fire coming its way, so it's just being careful for the moment. And here comes the Hellcats. Hail Mary, perhaps incoming. Yeah, let's see if he can find... He's got some time to work with. You know, he's not under 100 VPs. Let's see if he can find a favorable engagement or can take advantage of Fer one of Farage's missteps before he starts getting critical mass of P4s. I tell you what, nice you little hit. Really... It might be right now. Yeah, might be this right now. could be this. right now. Rearm a hit. Hellcats comes in. Oh, he misses the second shot. Here comes the double Faust, but there's another shot for you. One more required. He gets it! Nice pickup. Second Panzer IV arrived just a little too late, and now he's going to start taking hits from the AT gun. That AT nice gun came in too. so clutch then, Orange Pet. Uh, Momo, he came in so clutch then. Yeah, that was, that was clutch. The 30 cal there suppressing the squads trying to push the AT gun was clutch, which let it stay on the field and get the killing blows in. That was that was good. Now he needs to get some VPs. He does. The map is entirely yeah. red. <laughs> entirely red, just like communist China. But um, yeah, he, that was a, a good, it's a good pickup there. It was unexpected, the yep. best kind. And uh, that really does stabilize things because Momo was uh, severely worried about the double tank advantage. If you want to see a deciding ace game, that is. And um, yeah, so nice pickup. That kind of equalizes things. Victory point wise was 309 to 292. Uh, let's see uh, what Farage's teched on his breakthrough. We've got Rapid Production, Blitzkrieg, Tiger, Assault Grenadiers, Smoke Bombs, Incendiary Bombing, none. So he's had a lot of experience gained this game, but here come those de the delayed fuses, Orange Momo. Yeah. Oh my One god! More. Almost. Grenadiers. That's what I'm saying. You can eat, you can eat two of them if you're on retreat because of the modifier. But yeah. you can see right here the shortcomings of non-armored battle group USF. He doesn't have an engineer to repair this Hellcat, and the repair speed until they get Vet One is abysmally slow. So yeah. this Hellcat is basically out of action. Because Fergie has a pack now too. So 
he, ha he does have a bit of reprieve after killing that first P4. The riflemen have a bit more breathing room, but yeah, there you go. He's, he's got to construct an engineer and get it, get it to work. That's full going south. Just had, uh, what is this? Nearby squads will be reinforced, Smoke. Commander. I like how you can see mines are being built too on the UI. That's kind of cool. Yeah, it's really nice. They're just it? putting down a mine. So yeah. the legend goes, by the way, it's a former relic dev that was cut that released this mod, and everything points yep. to that direction. Moment it makes so much yep. sense. There's no way because it can be anyone else because of the knowledge of the assets engine. But yeah, honestly, that, that kind of made me sad that we we literally had that within Vancouver's headquarters, and it wasn't in the game. But dude, it's cripplingly um, sad. I mean, if this was in the game, yeah. we'd be happy. This is fine. We can live with this. This is much better than nothing. It's much, much better than nothing. Uh, yeah, hats off to the guy for putting it out, though. Yeah, the um, Cuban, whoever you are, uh, thank you for uh, releasing this. We, re we appreciate it. We really do. So many mines laid by Farage. Orange Pest has to be careful. He does have an engineer, but it doesn't even have a mine sweeper. Are you kidding me, bro? No, that, that Hellcat is needed on the front lines. It doesn't even get a full repair going. <laughs> but of course, okay. the bug still Makes remains, sense. Orange Pest. If a tank shell goes over a mine... I keep calling you Orange Pest, sorry. If a tank shell goes over a mine, it triggers it. It makes uh, no sense, but it's... Is that uh, the incendiary bomb right now? If it is. It's cool. It is. We have to get cinematic mode for the incendiary bomb. It's so slow. Oh, there it is. Oh, wow. So it looks like it hurts. If it actually hits you. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say the reaction times of these EU server players have been excellent in this game. We've seen uh, grenade dodges, counter grenade dodges, stalling. It's just been really highly tactile play. Yeah. I mean, for how it's kind of deceptive what it looks like on the map. Like, Orange Pass hasn't really lost any infantry and neither has Farage, but... Um, which is a testament to what you just said. But yeah, I mean, MP40 Grens, MGs. Oh, he's not even chasing this down. He's really desperate for those VPs. Just it's a mine. mine Luckily, so only one guy. Oh, wait, was it two guys? I can't. I couldn't tell if it was five or six-man rifle. Hellcat's <laughs> pulling up to the middle. Not really anything to engage. Pack is setting up. Bomb oh, reconnaissance, why not? Okay, so fuel count, we're at 200 right now and 657 manpower for Ferragy. So we're going to Tiger Town. Oh! Oh, that looked pretty, pretty good. <laughs> it did, it did. <laughs> but as you say, that retreat modifier does help out. Oh, rifle could die! But they don't! The bush has saved him. Thank you, Bush. First time that's ever been said. <laughs> Oh, man. Orange Pass is starting to bleed a bit. He's not really getting any foothold on the map because these MGs are just locking him down. Oh. I, I, he, you know, it's getting, a, to be fair, it's getting hard to manage all these squads he has. You can see it there. The Pathfinders are clumped up together when he should really split them up because you need the smoke and flares on different sides of the map. So you can really tell the stress, like, is building up for him and the sense of urgency and just the overall overwhelming amount of stuff he needs to micro yeah while Farage can just kind of move together in little platoons you see here he's got mg set up I mean, there's fundamentally it's a bit less dude required the Wehrmacht just operate within this section of the map here they move to and fro and they can just give each other the synergies and the uh overlapping uh, lines of fire and it really just work well for Wehrmacht and the usf have to break through it some way so here they go they've laying down smoke but big boy tigers out. Oh, the Chumba Wumba. The 60 ton behemoth of Kropstahl Rhine Metal 88mm cannon. Five highly trained Wehrmacht Panzer operatives are probably going to be really underwhelming because it's actually quite underpowered right now. I don't know. Sometimes it gets big hits in. Sometimes. You can't. You got to respect it. Only because it looks cool. Like, other than that, it tends to just get annihilated by flanks. But there are a lot of mines on the field, so maybe we'll finally see the tiger we've been wanting all tournament long. 
Because every other Tigers died within around three minutes, and I am not exaggerating. Another incendiary on the AT gun. Nice coverage there. Let's the Tiger just walk up to these dudes right here and blast them. Yep. I think the Tiger looking weak is mainly because the EZ-8 is just so strong. True. The EZ-8 just so shines everything. But Hellcat's kind of outgunned here. It's going to get chunked in half by the Tiger if he gets a shot. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's looking like a 2-0 sweep here for Farage, in all honesty. Well, we're giving short odds for Farage right now. He, um, he is the favorite by a considerable margin, but without the EZ-8, Orange Pest is at a loss, but he does have the option of the P-47s, possibly. No, his munitions count is uber low right now. 19 yeah. munitions. Ouch. Yeah, 100 VPs left, triple cap. AT guns are screening for themselves. They're about to get obliterated. Hellcat just... Yeah, that's not looking good. No usage of flares there. Obviously, he's he's desperate. There's a huge sense of urgency here to step on the VPs. Smoke grenades coming down. Rifleman pushing up. He did get a neutralize in the southern VP. AT gun just sending it. He's got to gotta make something work here. I love the bounce effect on on Kofu. It's got yeah, it's, got it's not bad. It reminds me of the old Co One one. As the grenade takes out Ooh. an MG, that was a veteran MG, so that's really going to help. Tiger rolls forward. MP40 Grenadines want to finish this off. Will he get a bit of Orange Pest disease? Second hand, we'll have to wait and see. Farage's got the Panzerball operating on. Oh, the rifleman eats a massive shot there. Yeah, the riflemen need to head back to base. AT gun's gonna get decrewed. I didn't even notice the second AT gun, to be honest. Oh, oh there's the incendiary. Even killed off the retreating gun crew. Yeah. If you saw that. Oh, there we go. Orange oh. Pest has not even given the GGs. He's just quit the game because he is hanging his head in shame. But let's concentrate on the absolutely massive victory for your boy Farage from rags to riches. What a story. Yeah, very well played. Um, definitely utilized all the strengths of um, what was available to him with these factions on Fame and Bill. Um, he took advantage of Breakthrough. Orange Pest didn't, which is quite, kind of shocking to me because uh, Breakthrough is very strong. And on that map, it is on a different level. So well played by Farage for taking advantage of that. Orange Pass gave it his best. Um, would have probably helped him not to, you know, talk some smack yesterday, but we'll give him <laughs> the benefit. Now he was drinking some of that thing, you know. But well played by Farage. Good stuff, dude. I mean, Orange Pest is was the reigning Master League champion. He won the last Master League tournament, so there's no reason to. To be, to have that much shame, you know, it's very difficult to become the dominant top dog of a scene. And when the game first comes out, there's so much toing and throwing and meta changes and players good one month and then bad, uh, worse the next kind of thing. Yeah, everyone wants to be the next Love Nest or a Sealed or or even Nagano or DevM, but those guys are in the stratosphere. You know, you got to really build up the trophies to uh get on their end but yeah orange pest will be back no doubt about it oh yeah he's not going he's anywhere. always he's always got a chip on his shoulder he's always ready to prove something and he's already proven a lot so no discredit to him but farage is definitely feeling good right now he certainly is that's a magnificent victory um just to explain to you guys the reason it was best of three this time only is because we did two series in one day today so that's the only reason it was best of three instead of the usual uh, best of five action you have become very custom to you spoiled spoiled children um that's a joke by the way but yeah so let's fill in the bracket shall we now we've got orange pest i don't know if it was two nil or two one so i can't fill it out yeah let's go two one and then i'll check out those replays tomorrow um orange pest progressed of course um Let's do special values because I don't know how this sheet works anymore. And then Farage with a massive 2 0 victory. Now a rank 1,600 MLR player. That is impressive stuff. So 
Big credit to him. Well played, sir. And then we've got... Nic I don't think the Nagano Jibba best of three series has occurred yet. Um, we will get that filled out soon. I believe, by the way, if you've seen it on Tightrope's channel, if you haven't, you want to see the winners, uh, the game Theodosios uh, versus Bolton. Uh, look away now for the next minute because I'm going to fill that in. Uh, Theodosios won 2-0. Uh, so that's all of your lower bracket games finished. Ooh, and does Hulk Smash get the eighth spot? Let's have a look compared to Inca Una uh, on the good old MLR screen. Inca Una had one four eight three. He drops to one four six three with the did not play penalty. Um, so sadly, because Hulk Smash lost a game to Von Ivan, Inca Una retains his top eight spots. So Oof, that's gotta hurt. Yeah, yeah, I flopped this time around big time. I was at number nine or something, and I lost every match. Yeah, you theorize. If you practice, my Momo, opponents. <laughs> if you practice, you could be in the top eight right now. But I'm not going to discredit my opponents, though. They played well. Yeah, exactly. And as, as I said to Momo before we started today, this Momo guy has been around our top scene for a while, and he doesn't even practice anymore. He just loves to play. So he just likes to rock up 8 a.m. or 7 a.m. or 6 a.m., whatever it is in California, Momo. And uh, big credit to you, man. Keep keep doing what you do. Um, Thanks, brother. Thanks for having me on the co-cast. It was fun. It's been a while. It's been a proper good proper good cast. That G1 cast we did together, Momo, and the game itself with the great plays from uh, Orange Pest and Fergie was the best cast of Covenant Heroes 3, though, so far, in my opinion, for quality of gameplay content and the work. And that's a big credit to you. You've always been a great analyst caster. So, yeah, thank, thanks, mate. Uh, anyway, so... Happy to join you back again next time. Definitely. I'd love to have you in the future. Um, we've got uh, Fergie, our reigning champion. And he is actually pretty highly seeded now. Let's, I don't know how this is going to work. I'll have to program this tomorrow when I haven't had a beer and I'm not so tired. But we've also got Jibba versus Nagano um, coming up tomorrow. So that should be a good laugh as well. So, um, yeah, big thanks to you guys for watching. Thanks for supporting all the patrons that make this possible. And uh, I can say I'm sitting on some big news for the future. Uh, I can't tell you what that with regards. It, it could be community-based news. It could be other. But Company Heroes does have a very bright future. Um, it really does, as long as they keep supporting the game, with the big asterisk being as long as they keep supporting the game. We don't know if that's going to happen. We can only hope that it happens. Because Co3, for the 1v1 side, is pretty decent, to be honest. It's just got some work to be done. It's the rest of the game that needs to catch up. Uh, the team games and the single player experience, etc. Um, but yeah. Agreed. Alright guys, I'm going to roll to a wait screen now because I'm going to create like a bit of a fake G3 for the YouTube um, series. But it's been great having Mimo. It's been great having all these lovely people in chat. Uh, again, big thanks to the patrons of the Master League. You literally make this possible. There's 90 of you right now. I'd like that number to be 100, but your work has already been done, to be honest. We've had a great first series. Um, if if you keep your pledges for the next two months, you will see a finals tournament with $3,000 in the kitty. So, um, and, and thanks to everybody for the kind words in chat. I don't always respond because it's, uh, it's kind of egotistical if I respond to somebody saying something lovely about me, but I do read it and it does encourage me to keep this up. So thank you for your kind words. Uh, and yeah, we are going to scam the YouTube side, Mustafa. We're going to scam the crap out of them. All Catch right. you later, Matt. Thanks for having me. Cheers, Momo. Bye-bye, mate. Yeah, Momo's gone. All right, guys, let's put a wait screen up. Just to, I would usually raid somebody, but, but because I want to just upload this straight to you, Joe, I'm going to create a fake uh, screen right now. Uh, but yeah, GG's. Well played. And uh, see you later, dudes. Bye-bye.